Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will discuss a question related to folic acid or neural tube defects in newborn. We will start with the question. The nurse is preparing a nutritional teaching plan for a client planning to become pregnant. Which food items would best prevent neural tube defects? Option 1. Calcium rich snacks Option 2. Fortified cereals Option 3. Organ meats Option 4. Wild salmon So here the question they ask Which type of food items should the mother have or the woman who is become planning to become pregnant to have to prevent the neural tube defects in the newborn? So what is the essential content that required to prevent neural tube defects? Folic acid. So out of these four options, which food item contain more folic acid? Before choosing the correct option, we will study some point about this. Women who are planning to become pregnant should consume at least 400 to 800 microgram of folic acid daily. And some of the main food items that is rich in folic acid are uh, cereals, fortified cereals or fortified grain products like bread, pasta and cereals and some of the green leafy vegetables. So if the person or if the woman she is not a person who is having such type of food items she should consult the healthcare provider and they will provide with her or prescribed with some of the folic acid tablets that she should consume before she is becoming pregnant why we will uh, say she should have this folic acid before becoming pregnant which means the main uh, the development all are happening or sometimes the mother she don't she might came to know that she is pregnant after eight weeks or ten weeks of pregnancy so if she is not having enough such item of such uh, items of food items or such uh, food items that contain folic acid what will happen there is a chance of developing neural tube defects in the newborn see here it's right inadequate maternal intake of folic acid during the first eight weeks after conception increase the risk of fetal tube uh, fetal neural tube defects which inhibit proper development of the brain and spinal cord so that's why before becoming pregnant she should start to consume this food items or the tablet then what are some of the neural tube defects like spina bifida and anencephaly what do you mean by anencephaly lack of cerebral hemispheres and overlying skull so i hope you got some idea about neural tube defects and how it is connected with the folic acid or how the intake of folic acid can prevent the development of neural tube defects in the newborn is that clear so let us come back to the option so what is our answer yes it's right already fortified cereals or option two now we will see why other options we didn't choose option one it says calcium rich snacks what is the calcium content uh, significance in the pregnancy so this calcium is uh, especially it is significant during the last trimester of pregnancy for the mineralization of the bones and teeth of the uh, newborn but it is not prevent the neural tube defects then option three says organ meats organ meats uh, like liver that may contain moderately folate moderate high levels of polarite but that are usually this organ meats becomes uh, the mother will consume for the high content of iron and that will prevent the maternal anemia so uh, organ is not the one that will consider for preventing the neural tube defects compared to the fortified cereals then the next option that is option four it says uh, wild salmon so what is content of the wild salmon omega-3 fatty acids so that is very important for neurological functions and is linked with a lower risk of preterm birth but it does not uh, contain or it does not connect with the neural tube defects or it doesn't contain folic acid so that's why we eliminate the option four so what are some of the omega-3 fatty acid food items like dietary sources like wild salmon, anglodized flax seeds and walnuts. 
so these are the points and uh, the topic related to the neural tube defects and folic acid connection how it is preventing hope it's clear to you if you have any doubts please mention in the comment box because uh, i want to know whether the way we are discussing or the questions that we are uh, discussing in our channel it is important to you and uh, if you have any suggestion or if you want to discuss any topic particularly please mention that one we will include on the upcoming videos bye for now